Bien, ben bonjour à tous. Uh, so I'm Anne Masson and I'm representing TechTerra. TechTerra is a French innovation cluster. I will explain to you what a cluster in, Fran in France is for, the, for those who don't know. Uh, but first of all, be before beginning my presentation, I would like to thank uh, the University of Tohoku and Professor uh, uh, Shoji for uh, his kind invitation and uh, point out the three main reasons why TechTerra uh, participates to this first workshop. In fact, the first reason is uh, um, linked to our daily work. Uh, an innovation cluster works every day on innovation. Our goal is to develop uh, new uh, innovative materials and processes linked with the fields we are working on. Concerning TechTerra, the fields we are working on are um, technical textiles and flexible materials. Um, and the innovation we, we help our members to develop, because, because in fact we don't develop anything uh, within TechTerra, but we help our members, our members are uh, companies and research laboratories to develop innovation. When I use the word help, that means that we help them to find partners and we help them to find fundings. So uh, the innovation we, we, uh, we work on uh, always address major questions, either uh, and major complex questions, either even environmental questions or scientific and technical questions, or big societal challenges like uh, uh, the health uh, uh, progress, or like security, or like s sustainability. So we are mainly concerned by the subject of, uh, of this workshop. This is the second reason wh why we are here. Uh, another reason is that uh, uh, INSA de Lyon and Ecole Centrale de Lyon are among the, uh, the members of TechTerra. We have 110 members. Uh, uh, INSA de Lyon, through uh, its laboratories, working on civil engineering and uh, on, um, on science of materials, and Ecole Centrale de Lyon, through the structures, working on mechanic, uh, on flutes mechanic. And the third uh, very important reason for us uh, being here is the work we have developed with Stappen uh, almost since the beginning of TechTerra in 2005. Uh, with the help of ERAI, we have developed strong relationships and partnerships with different uh, professional organizations uh, like uh, uh, the GCFA, which is the Japan Chemical Fibers Association, clusters, universities, and we have uh, a lot of exchanges with all these structures and which we work with uh, them very <coughs> regularly. So uh, my presentation will intend to explain to you uh, what we do and the way we, we work with our members to help them to develop innovation. And I will specifically focus on four of our uh, R&D projects that are linked with uh, civil engineering. Uh, <coughs> so TechTerra is an innovation cluster dedicated to technical textiles. It was created in France in 2005 and it is located in Lyon. Uh, we are very proud of our results, and one of our specificity in the French landscape of clusters is that we are ISO uh, certified, which means that uh, there is a, a big transparency in the process of innovation, and that uh, all our processes are uh, clearly defined and, uh, and uh, respected in the, in the cluster. Uh, what is a cluster in France? In fact, the work of a cluster in France is to gather companies in a specific sector of activities, laboratories, universities, and uh, grandes écoles or big schools, and to help them to find solutions to their uh, willing of innovations. Uh, there is uh, nowadays 71 clusters in France. Uh, for each cluster, there is a, a specific sector of activities, there are three clusters that are dedicated to textile, uh, to technical textiles. Uh, TechTerra is settled in, in, in Lyon, in the Rhône-Alpes region. Uh, a cluster is always, is always linked with a, a territory, with a territory in France. Uh, Rhône the Rhône-Alpes region is the leader in France of technical textiles. It is also the European area for 
fiberglass and carbon fibers. It is very performing concerning composites, and it is the leader in the production of reinforced use geotextiles. We have many very innovative SMEs, and it's a land of innovation with big universities, uh, laboratories, and, uh, and schools. Concerning the, the key figures of the textile industry in the Rhône-Alpes region, uh, we count uh, 140 SMEs plus world leaders, uh, 10,000 jobs. It represents 65% of the French uh, production capacity and uh, a little bit more than 12% of the Europe's Stone Age uh, production. Tectara is an association uh, that has been founded in 2005. We uh, gather today uh, 110 members, among which 76% uh, uh, are companies, especially SMEs. You see that uh, uh, our members are mainly located in the Ronald region, but not only. Uh, we have members of all the parties of France. Our members are either world leaders, like uh, Blue Star Silicon, or big textile companies like Shomara, Ferrari, Excel, Hermès, that you may know, Porsche, Tuana, etc., etc. Very innovative SMEs. Among these SMEs, uh, there is, for example, Texinov, which is a French leader in geotextile, and which is the coordinator of one of the R&D projects I will present to you, and prestigious universities and schools. The work of Tectera uh, is, as I told you, to help them to, uh, uh, on their way to innovation. And to uh, achieve this goal, we have uh, set up a specific method and specific tools that help them to, uh, to achieve their purpose. <laughs> uh, so Tectera created its, uh, its own tools and services. Uh, in, in within the team of the cluster, we call it uh, uh, the innovation project process with different uh, steps uh, that we respect from the first stage from the idea of an innovation to its final achievement, its funding, and the launching of, uh, of the materials or process that will be uh, brought through the, the process. So the process includes different steps, proposition, structuring and setting up of the project. When the project is set up in structures, it is submitted to the advisement of the scientific and technical commission, which is composed of independent uh, experts, researchers, and manufacturers. Uh, the, this committee uh, gives an advice uh, on the project, on the innovative content of the project. After the project is submitted to the executive bureau of the, of the cluster, which gives or not what we call the, uh, le, the labelization, a label, that will after allow the partners of the project to find fundings. So the cluster will present the project to potential funding, either French uh, national fundings or uh, European fundings. Uh, then after uh, the project is launched and followed up by the, the cluster till uh, the, prototy the prototy prototyping and the launch of the products. Uh, the uh, current strategic roadmap of Tectera, which, is, uh, be, which will be renewed uh, at the end of the, of the 2012 year, includes uh, three main axes, three main uh, technological axes, among which the first one is specifically uh, linked with the work we have made uh, in Japan. Uh, the first one, in fact, uh, of our axis consists uh, uh, insists on the innovation on raw materials. Uh, that's why we developed a, a very important uh, work with Japan to find new fibers uh, and new innovative fibers. There are two other technological ac uh, axes. The second one concerns developing new functions for the textiles and for the materials. And the third one is, to, is linked with the composites part uh, and uh, is linked with the fact of to consider flex, uh, textile as a flexible 
technological material, which can be very interesting related to the subject we are working on here. Uh, one of our tools to help develop innovation is what we call the innovation workshop. Uh, it's a little bit like we are uh, doing uh, uh, here. That means that Tectera proposes a topic which can uh, lead to innovation to, it, to the community of industrialists and uh, researchers and uh, gathers them for a meeting. After this meeting, uh, there is a following group that is a project group that is settled, uh, gathering uh, companies and researchers and all the, the group will have regular meetings uh, that will lead to uh, a new project. Uh, so I, make, I made a little list of the, of the subjects the cluster has been working on since uh, 2006 to give you an idea of the vari variety of, uh, of subjects we are uh, developing. Uh, concerning the results of the cluster, you have to know that uh, uh, each workshop, each innovation workshop, leads to at least one R&D project that is funded and launched uh, by the cluster. So, uh, as I told you, an uh, work, uh, innovation workshop leads to moni monitoring groups. We have all, all other tools uh, that will help, help the company to develop innovation, what we call competitivity workshops, uh, which is linked to the management of innovation and enhancement workshops that will have the, um, uh, the purpose to disseminate uh, re the results of R&D projects. So focus of uh, uh, four of our R&D pr collaborative projects that uh, are linked to the subject you are working on since uh, yesterday. Uh, the first one is called uh, GeoInnov. It is uh, coordinated by a French uh, SME uh, settled near Lyon, which is, uh, which is uh, specialized in design and production of geosynthetics. Uh, the project has been launched in 2010 with the goal of developing a, generation, a new generation of geotextiles, uh, pioneers in terms of strength, efficiency, and reduction of carbon uh, foot, footprint. Uh, GeoInnov gathers seven different partners. Uh, the budget is 3.3 uh, million euros, and the project is about creating new multifunctional products for the security of constructions, for example, rail roads or railways over uh, fragile si soils, embankments on soils with low bearing capacity, low transfer mattress over piles. Uh, the project is also about new design methods, uh, including long-term factors uh, validated by numerical models and large-scale experimentation and development of innovative polymers for reinforcement. Uh, one other project that may interest uh, you today is called Impermis. Uh, it's an academic project which deals uh, with textile composites for rehabilitation and retrofitting of existing buildings and infrastructures considering sustainable criteria. The composites that are concerned are structural com composites, polymer and mineral mattresses, and high-performance textiles. And there are two fields of uh, potential application, design and construction, and all that concern uh, uh, reparation of existing structure. Uh, the objective of the project is to initial technical evolutions of textile reinforcement and to uh, create new standards that will meet the, the, the new regulations, especially in France and in Europe. Uh, one of our projects is Reptile. Uh, Reptile uh, has, uh, uh, intends to develop a robotic method uh, for rehabilitating and repairing, in fact, buried uh, water uh, pipes from the interior. It's a project that has just uh, been launched by the cluster which gathers eight partners, among which uh, Fresinet, which is a big uh, uh, French company, and uh, has a huge budget of six million uh, euros. And the last project I wanted to, to tell you about is called TIPCO. 
uh, TIPCO is a, a little bit more ancient, ancient. It has been launched in 2010. And TIPCO is also a project dealing, dealing with innovative composites for the building industry uh, with the purpose of developing new types of textile reinforced composites with a mineral matrix and an industrial mass production process. The project gathers seven partners with a budget of 4.8 million euros as in funded by the, uh, by the French uh, national government. Uh, uh, to finish with uh, the presentation of the cluster, uh, recent, uh, a recent uh, audit conducted by the French government uh, on the 71 French clusters uh, have as uh, ranked Tectera in the top 20 of the French clusters in the category very performant. And among the, the, the points that have been highlighted by the auditors, uh, the partnerships and our presence in Japan. Uh, well, that's it. I'm trying to respect my time. So, uh, some key figures. Uh, on our results, you see that we have uh, uh, assisted uh, more than 200 uh, projects since the beginning, among which 112 projects have been funded. Uh, that means that since uh, the beginning of the cluster, more than 300 companies have benefited from the funded uh, uh, for the projects. Uh, um, most of them are SMEs, uh, as I told you. And uh, we identified 31 new products launched uh, and innovation on processes. So I thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, I'm at your disposal.